Hey guys, I'm gonna give it back here from the video. Guys, Madden 20's live stream happened yesterday. They released a lot of information. With Madden 20 information coming out, we'll be going and making more and more videos about Madden 20 until, of course, Madden 20 comes out on, well, technically EA Access comes on the 25th. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video at any time, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. <coughs> Let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. So, when you first go ahead and get into Ultimate Team, you can see we have the Welcome to Ultimate Team, Mutt Dedication, Theme Builders, and Series Progression. We also have different tabs. It's a lot more organized than last year, in my opinion, just because we have the missions, which are like the solo challenges. We have the Play, Store, Team, and Competitive. Now, if you guys have not seen some of my videos earlier today, then obviously you would not know as much about some of the content that we did get revealed. We got Mutt Master revealed. We got the Mutt Draft. And no longer is there actual, like, there, no longer is there event tickets to get into Mutt Draft. Now it is literally you just use coins. Kind of cool. A little bit better in my opinion. But let's go ahead and go back real fast. Let's take a look at first off, when you first go into missions, this is one of the missions. Of course, it's a solo challenge, which they're not calling solos. First off, gain five yards. Second off, score a touchdown. If you go ahead and complete that, ways to complete, it says right here. So it's pretty much just walking you through. Um, not really that difficult. Definitely, the early on missions are never difficult. They're always easy. But if we go to the play tab, we have different options here. I'm going to go ahead and take away my camera. We have challenges, solo battles, head-to-head -head season, weekend league, draft, and of course squads. Now squads is locked because this account currently was on level 1. Um, once you're on level 1, you're not able to unlock it yet. You have to level up to unlock squads. So if you want to play squads, you have to unlock it. And it's not going to be like it's that crazy you know, to unlock it. Next tab we have here is going to go ahead and be the store tab. Of course, starting off right away, we do have packs in the store, which is, you know, just for this EA build, I guess beta build, uh, it does have an elite player pack. But day one of EA Access, they will have a $100 pack in the store, guaranteed, that will have insane, you know, pool rates just because of EA Access. But nonetheless, it will be $100, so you can spend your money if you would like to. We also have the auction and trades because, yes, auction block oh sorry trade block is coming back this year already been confirmed way before this but just saying if you guys had any doubts unopened packs and then approve your ultimate team of course get more packs so always a way to spend money right next tab we have here is going to be the team tab this team tab is going to go ahead and break down your adjust lineup it's also going to go ahead and give you a team oh, item binder your sets your settings and your renamed team so though Again, I really feel like this whole layout of Ultimate Team this year is very organized. It's very, you know, just like not like all over the place. It's just very strict and to the point. And I definitely kind of like it. Now, it doesn't show you your whole entire team like it used to in previous years. Now, it just shows you your top three players, which is a little bit different. But, I don't know. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. But now, I'm going to go ahead and get into an actual lineup build. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out for you guys real fast. Um, so we can see this a little bit better. Let me go ahead and go a little bit back. Okay, so here we go. So what we have right here again is a lineup now. Now this is the um, when the, the guy on the stream, his lineup. I forget which uh, guy it was. I think it was either Jake Stein or it was um, Falls, I think. One of those two guys. Uh, nonetheless, though, this is going to be, of course, the Okralos. One of the three. Nonetheless, though, this is the line, as you can see. And again, for day one, it's not that bad. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mention this right now because I think it was Falls. Oh, no. Jake Stein, I think you said it on the stream. There's going to be, I think it's four different captains. Ryan Shazier, all the captains like last year would get cards throughout the year. Legend cards because Dallas Clark. Um... And you, you see different, uh, I think there's also, oh, Ty Law. Those are the captains, right? Ryan Shazier would not get another card throughout the whole entire year. So if you did not watch stream, you might not know that. Choose Ryan Shazier, okay? If you want, because any other captain you can get throughout the whole entire year, you cannot get Ryan Shazier the whole entire year. He would not get another card in the Ultimate Team this year other than his team captain card. So 
if you want Ryan Shazier, you want to play with him, choose him as your team captain. You get your team captain at level 11. So you can get up to level 11 very, very quickly. But level 11 is what you get your team captain at. Choose Ryan Shazier if you do want him because every other card will be getting another legend. Ty Law, Dallas Clark, all these guys will be getting other legend cards. They'll be getting other cards throughout the year. Ryan Shazier will not. And that is coming from EA Sports saying he's not getting more cards. Ryan Shazier isn't. On the right hand side, you can see this is actually a lot more, again, a lot more organized. Um, you have your chemistries, of course, and you also have your best, uh, was it, change lineup. So you can change whatever lineup you currently are on and do best available. So kind of cool. Uh, I definitely like, again, I, I'll say it more time, very organized, very organized. Um, let me go ahead and skip forward a little bit, though. We have this right here. This is EA Access. Now, there will be special EA Access solo challenges only available on EA Access. They will expire Monday at 11.59 p.m., which is this upcoming Monday. Of course, Tuesday will be when the game releases. So, if you want to get on and you want to do this specialized solo challenge, you can get it done, and obviously, you only are able to get it done on EA Access. So, you can put this solo with a friends or by yourself, and EA Access Premier Challenge, 500 coins. I think this literally just gives you 500 coins, and if it, that is true, okay, it's not, it's not really that special, okay? I don't know why, okay, they made it sound like a lot more special than it was. We already looked at the level 0 to 50 um, solo, I mean, the level awards before if you guys have not see my video again go check it out nonetheless i broke down all those i'm not going to go ahead and go too in depth uh with this but we also let's go ahead and talk about this right here theme selector because i made a video earlier we didn't know much about it now we know a lot about it every single team has a theme captain or theme player now i think they said you can complete 10 of these theme selectors without spending coins. So what this is, is once you go ahead and ch select a certain team, let's say I select the Baltimore Ravens, I unlock the Baltimore Raven challenges and I can get the 85 overall player from the Ravens. So let me go ahead and skip forward a little bit and show you. So for example, we have the team items. This is what you do. So you put them into a set depending on what team you wanna do. And again, I believe you can do 10 of these team or theme builders Keep going team because last year we had team builders uh, for pretty much free just by leveling up. Every single five levels, you receive one of these team builders. So the one thing, or theme builders, one thing they really tried to stress upon was don't feel like you're pressured to select a certain team because every single five levels, if you guys can do the math there, 50 levels to start off the game. If you get to what, 0 to 50, you will get 10 of these team builders. For free, you get 10 of them. And through the solo challenges, you get enough items and stuff like that to get these 85 overall players. Now, the only 85s, but let's go ahead and take a look at what they're looking like stat-wise. So you can see right here, it's like 86s, not 85s. 86s, we have CJ Mosley coming in at 86 overall. We have uh, Sue, 86 overall, and 86 overall, Russell Wilson. Now, we'll make a video today going and breaking down all... 32 of these team builders, but nonetheless though very also or theme builders I mean, I'm gonna probably call them team builders for the rest of forever But again very very awesome and you can get them done by just going ahead and doing solos all missions missions doing missions and of course Ultimate ultimate challenges. I think they're called and then of course you can get that done doing that so set theme builder you do receive you go ahead and open this up you will receive seahawks team item pack in that item pack you do receive Pete carroll seahawks offense seahawks defense so again you're able to use different uh playbooks which is very awesome with these theme selectors so that's very very awesome let's go ahead and go for the tad bit though and let's take a look at this right here now this is actually kind of something kind of interesting this is of course your 10 series one trophies now, your, how this works is it's actually a quick sell. No longer is it going to be going ahead and putting this into sets in order to complete it. Now, it is a quick sell currency, just like training and all that kind of stuff. So, it's actually a quick sell currency now. No longer is it what it was last year. Kind of interesting, kind of weird. We have solo battles right here, of course, and that's going to go ahead and be the same, pretty much the same as last year. 
nothing special there. Uh, you can see as you level up, you do get different rewards, get a gold player pack, which actually looks kind of different, kind of weird there. But as you can see, again, as you level up, you do receive theme selectors. Now, every five levels, by the way, for that again. 62 to 81 overall power up pass. That's pretty much plain and simple. Uh, you can pretty much understand what that is for. Nonetheless, let's go back a, la a tiny bit. And we can see right here, we do have solos. We have squads now available at level 10. So it's not like you have to go grind too much to get squads un unlocked if you do want to play squads. But it is going to be a tad bit of a grind. Um, let me go ahead and skip for a tad bit. We have Team Captain Fantasy Pack at level 11. So same thing we've seen in years past. This is one of the Team Cap or Mutt Captains, which is supposed to be Herman Moore. We also have Dallas Clark. We also have Ty Law. And we also have Ryan Shazier. Again, if you want to use Ryan Shazier in Mutt 20, get his Team Captain. I'm just saying that right now. Make sure you select his team captain. You're not going to use him outside of that. Right here we have Mr. Um, Toy Holt. And this is going to be what he starts off at. Just a basic 70 overall card. And his 90 overall card right here is going to give you 90 speed. So if you do go ahead and level him up. Very awesome. Now, unlike previous years where you got a level up token every single time you leveled up your account that is no longer going to be a thing you are going to get it every a little bit i don't know exactly how many levels they said but is it not going to be every single level now they did say though every single upgrade will be a important upgrade meaning it will be a big upgrade so keep that in mind it's not just going to be you know every single level but it's also not going to just be like plus one or acceleration congratulations right it's not going to be something stupid like that Right here we have is going to be Challenge Assemble Your Team Milestones, Ultimate Trainers. Uh, tiers, and you can see as you get different stars, you unlock different things. Ultimate Trainers Fantasy Packs, uh, Tier 6 and Tier 7. So as you unlock more things, you get more things, which is very awesome. Right here you can see we have an 85 overall mass of traded players and tokens earned from the Ultimate Training Missions to earn an 85 overall Training Master. So again, early on first month of the game first two months of the game these 85s going to be fantastic they're going to get the job done they're going to help you out a lot and they're going to really help you be able to create this great team you see right here we have juju smith schuster marshawn Lattimore, tyron matthew greg olson and finally matt ryan so those are of course the ultimate trainer players we have going through a little bit more given forward here we do also have mutt master reveal now we already know what mutt master is is pat tillman if you not know who pat tillman is shame on you anyway though pat tillman on this mutt master screen they said the ratings are not finalized but he's a 90 overall now that hopefully is not the thing but we do have daily missions uh which is kind of awesome uh, we had this last year. Nothing special. Uh, career stats, month master daily engagement. This is something that they're going to add. They said is daily engagement. They want players to be coming on the game and actually really, you know, playing the game more and more often. Uh, in order to get uh, Pat Tillman, it is literally just basic. Uh, month master last year. Score a touchdown. You have two options. You can either play online. Or you can play offline, score a touchdown in game mode, obviously to upgrade Mutt Master token. Same thing as last year. It's nothing, you know, too special. But let me go ahead and show this real fast. Cause I do want to go ahead and break or show this uh, one squat shot right here. So 90 overall Mutt Master. Now they said the, the ratings are not finalized. So I'm hoping and praying to the EA gods here that this is just not correct and this is just a work in progress and this is just a build. I watched the stream, I don't think they talked about it. They said the mutt ratings are not finalized. That better not be a 90 overall when this game comes out. That's all I gotta say. Now of course, they're gonna make it a 95, then a 99 just like they did Ryan Shays here. But, that better not be a 90 overall. That's all I'm saying. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit because we do have some other stuff to talk about. Uh, we have Steam Selector like before. We have Seahawks, of course, like I already covered. Um, let me see. 
let's actually skip for a little bit here. Um, we have earned an 86 overall NFL Epics Baker Mayfield. Uh, of course, from your ultimate team, NFL Epics. And we also have an 86 overall Deacon Jones. So, again, more things unlock as you go along and completing. We have earned 60 stars in order to get this epic Baker Mayfield. So, again, star system, very important for this year. Obviously, solo challenges, you can complete them multiple times. And different difficulties in order to get different stars. Very, very important. And it looks like Deacon and Baker is going to be some of the things you get for going and doing that. We have series progression, Mutt level, series one, multiplayer wins, journey, of course. Just all around, very awesome. Very excited about this year, guys. Very excited. If you're all excited, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and take a look at this in order to get series one multiplayer uh, wins. Of course, just like always, 200 wins. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Nonetheless, though, earn 120 Series 1 tokens or trophies, which, of course, is now a currency. As you see, oh, let me go ahead and show you. You can now see this, that it is a currency, no longer going to be actually right in the very top. You can see right here it is no longer going to be a, you know, items you put into a set. So kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and skip forward there real fast. We do have 84 uh, uh, eighty four plus overall elite player. Now, this is kind of interesting because you can use those trophies instead of through sets. You can now just buy packs with them. You can buy touchdown packs or quick sells. So you can actually buy these touchdown packs by going ahead and using your trophies. So kind of cool and throughout the year obviously more and more things will be added to the store with this trophies and with these trophy selection so that's gonna be very exciting again there's so much added to this game i'm really excited about this year i probably shouldn't be as excited because you know obviously the game has not come out yet but just all this content being released into the game i really am excited about this hoping gameplay is also great it's not going to be. Nonetheless, though, I'm, the, I'm just kidding. Guys. I'm not going to be that negative. I'm hoping. Nonetheless, though, right here we have milestones. And as you complete them, as you can see, 25,000 coins. Earn rewards as you gain in Journey NFL 100 Part 1. So, very cool. Let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit more. Just trying to show all the stuff off for you guys. Just summing up in one video. We do have Legend John Elway earn the power-up by going and completing that. You also earn... Uh, complete his set so once you complete the solo you do go ahead and of course and then you get the power up and then you complete the set you guys know how it is use training to go ahead and get the call you completed um or upgrade it all the way right here we have the whole you know upgrade process we have upgrade for eight training uh super saw x factor his abilities and his chemistries so you can really, you know, max out your players. Now, of course, you can't have Super Saw X Factors on. You can, I think, you can have them on every single player, but you can only have what one on offense, one on defense at a given time. So, right here we have Russell Wilson, which of course is the man, the myth, the legend. And as you upgrade him, you can see now he does unlock his Super Saw X Factor and of course his abilities. Very, very awesome. Let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit on this Russell Wilson. Let's see, do they actually upgrade him all the way? to max I'm trying to see real fast they upgrade him a little bit more i do not believe they do okay they do not uh right here for confirm upgrade oh they actually do upgrade him a little bit more and you can see wildcat russell wilson theme king so of course as you upgrade you do need you know to utilize certain you need to get certain players josh allen i feel like he's a very common name very, very common name. But right here we have the exchange set. Exchange a player from a rookie player for a better one or your team captains for a different one. Of course, the exchange set is what we always get. But right here, if you go ahead and complete this, 70 overalls repeatable. Trade in all your 70 overall cool gold rookies to receive an 86 overall rookie master, Josh Allen. So, complete that, you do receive this Josh Allen. Kind of cool the player uh, caught on. Very, very awesome. Now, they said something about this. I do not remember exactly what they talked about this, but I remember they said something about the 70 overalls. I think you get them back in some way. Not sure, but they said something about that. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But let's go ahead and talk about this, though. Of course, 
Trend 93 Elite Place. We have seen this all every single year, actually. No real talk about this. But Mutt Loyalty, that's actually what's important. We have Elite Offense and Elite Defense. That's going to be eight uh, Mutt Loyalty tokens apiece. Now, if you went ahead and did every single week of Mutt Loyalty, this shouldn't be that much of a problem. And if you went ahead and, of course, did the... Um, uh, in general, just did every single week. You got six of them for completing it. You, I think you got six for getting uh, done the level 99. So, again, as long as you did that, you should receive some pretty good cards. Which, in personally speaking, I've received some pretty good cards from Mutt Loyalty in the past. Right now, in the store right here, we have Get a Gold Player Pack, 5 times Gold uh, Player, Gold Premium Packs, which, of course, had Von Miller. Um, and where is... It has a J right here, but I'm pretty sure George Kittle is on the gold premium packs. I mean, gold player packs. So, that's interesting. Right here, we have base light uniform. And again, everything being used by... I think this is... This is not training. Though. This is uh, series trophies, I believe. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Of course, we have some cool elites right here. Which is Devontae Freeman, Juju Smith-Schuster, Tymon Matthew, Shaq Mason, Demarcus Lawrence, and Demario da Davis. I almost call him Demario Dotson. Right here, this is going to be your rookie premier players. Uh, stats revealed. As you can see, day one, if you did all 10, you will receive all 10. If you did a certain amount, you receive a certain amount. But right here, day one, stats-wise, not the worst in the world. That right guard is freaking awful. But overall, that D tackle is actually pretty not that bad. Obviously, the low overalls though. And hopefully, there's a preseason promo. So, this doesn't 100% mean that these players are useless completely throughout the whole entire preseason. Um, nonetheless, though, we do have Marquise Brown with 88 speed. Probably the one of the best players in all this list. Just because of his speed, you can run end around or something like that against solo challenges, ultimate challenges. Uh, nonetheless, though, right here, let me go ahead and go back real fast. And let me see if I can get this card up on the screen. Um, right here, we have Jerry Rice, which is, of course, Madden 20 pre-order. And his stats are completely beautiful. This is why I've said this before to say it a million times. A lot of this pre-order crap they had to the game is so useless. Save your money. Do EA access. Do not pre-order these Ultimate Editions. It's really never worth it. But nonetheless, guys, that's pretty much it for the content for Man 20 reveal, guys. If you enjoyed this video at any given time, make sure to like and subscribe button. See you guys next one. Peace out.